Hello and welcome back to our Unity tutorial series. If you're as excited about game development as we are, you're in for a treat today. Before we jump in, I want to remind you that the links to the amazing assets we're using along with an incredible bundle are in the video description below. Trust me, you don't want to miss out on these. These assets are a game changer for any developer looking to enhance their game's visual and functionality, so make sure to check them out. Now, let's delve into today's exciting topic, Raycasting in Unity. Raycasting is an incredibly powerful tool in Unity, allowing you to interact with your game world in dynamic ways. Today, we're going to focus on the basics, implementing Raycasting so that when we click anywhere in our game, a ray is cast from the camera to the point where we click. This technique is essential for a variety of game mechanics from shooting to object interaction. In simple terms, Raycasting in the context of computer graphics in game development is the process of extending an imaginary line or ray from a specific point in space, usually the camera or a character, in a specific direction to detect whether any object, often referred to as colliders, interact with this line. This technique is commonly used for various purposes such as determining line of sight, detecting where a bullet hits in a shooting game, or registering user interaction with the game world, like selecting or clicking an object. The ray effectively tests for intersections along its path, providing information about what it hits, how far away it is, and other relevant details. Let's implement this so we can see better what this actually does. Okay, so this is the scene from our previous video. Let's go into the mover class we've created. And in here, we require a ray. So let's do ray, and let's call it last ray. And then go into the update function. And now we want to check for a mouse button down because we want to click with the mouse and the camera should shoot a ray from the center to wherever we clicked. So let's do is input dot get mouse button down. And in here, we need to say last array equals camera dot main dot screen point to ray. And here we need to pass in the mouse position. So input dot mouse position. Great. Now we have the ray, but we need to see it somehow in the game. So let's use debug dot draw line. Give it the last ray origin and the last ray dot direction and times this by a hundred so we can see it it travels further. Uh and then pass in a color, let's do red. Oh, sorry. Okay. Now, let's go back into the scene. And let's try this out. So we're waiting for it to compile and hit play. Now we need to move this away. So we can see it here. Let's find the camera. We have the camera right here. And now if we click here, we should see the ray. As you can see, there is a ray pointing from the camera in that direction. Now, let's try a different place. Let's try here. Uh, or maybe here, yeah. You can see it moves wherever I click, there is a ray. And that wraps up our journey into the fascinating world of raycasting in Unity. Today, we've not only demystified what raycasting is, but also put it into action. We've seen how the invisible ray extending from a point can interact with objects in our game environment, opening up countless possibilities for gameplay mechanics. We began by understanding the basic concept of raycasting, then moved on to implementing it on our Unity scene. You've seen how we can cast rays from our camera to detect where we click in the game, visualizing this intersection using debug line. This is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to utilizing raycasting in the game development, but that's great, because in the next video, we'll make use of this to implement the click-to-move mechanics, an essential feature in many games, especially in strategy and RPG genres. So make sure you can join us again to add this cool feature to your game development toolkit. Before we go, 
don't forget to check out the link in the description for an amazing value bundle. It's packed with assets that can significantly enhance your game development process, saving you time while elevating the quality of your game. Thank you so much for watching. Your support and engagement mean the world to us. If you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. We have a lot of exciting stuff lined up and we can't wait to share it with you. Until the next video, keep exploring, keep creating and keep having fun with Unity. See you in the next video.